All right, here's what we're doing. We're going to see if we can fiddle some worms so we can fish a little while this evening. This is my land, so I ain't got to worry about asking somebody if I can cut down the sapling. His vibration goes through the ground, through the roots. It makes these worms crawl out on the top. Only thing is, I brought my dog with me. She's running around there for Maybe she'll get some more later on to me. You don't want to touch them until they get crawled out on top of the ground. Here's what we're after right here. That's just a little. Touch them before they get out of the ground, they go back in. That's why I had to make that dog lay down. She's not very happy. I'm gonna give it about five more minutes and we'll move on up the hill a little bit. It don't work, we're going down toward the creek. Here's what we're looking for. Only thing is, I'm just finding one or two. I moved up the hill. I've been fiddling. And I've got two or three right here. The dog sat down and quit running around too.
Anyway. I'll try it just a little longer. Most of the ones I'm getting are little. But once you start getting them coming out, you have to look around pretty good. Because they're going to crawl off. They're getting away from the vibrations, what they're trying to do. Look at this bigger one right there. That's kind of looking for right there. I stopped for a little while. Done this, moved around, picked up what I saw. Went back, hit a little bit more. Got a few more. I'm just sitting on the bucket right there. I saw I was propped up on a little old sassafras. Or sweet gum, I mean, I said sassafras. Most people don't care for you cutting down a sweet gum if you're doing this on somebody else's land. Sweet gums ain't good for anything. They're not gonna make saw logs. They don't put on acre or hickory nuts for the animals, so. Most people won't say nothing for you cutting them down. But it's always good to ask. All right. I'm going to hit a few more licks and we'll move on. When I was a kid, I used to go do this with my grandpa. He ran trot lines all the time. And he used these for bait. A lot of times, so. He had a foot of worms. He baited a lot of stuff. Cut bait. Earth worms. Grasshoppers. A lot of different things. I had some cousins I used to run around with a lot. And we'd do this. We got to where we'd just take an old hole handle or something and drive it down at the end of their granddaddy's pasture. That's how we go. Let them rub it with an old turning plow pole. I'm going to go ahead and get this one right here before it crawls all the way out. Oh, he wasn't hardly out of the ground good. I just had to hold him. Get him on out of the ground. I like to jump the gun on him. Oh, there's a little one. Let's go ahead and get him. Put him in there before he gets under the leaves. I'm just using these to brim fish with you. So they don't have to be big, just enough to get a brim hook. See if I can get a few more. I can always pour them back out out here if I don't use them. They'll just crawl back in. If you fiddle them up and don't get them, they'll just crawl back down in the ground. Okay, this is my third spot. My little old hand saw I use is pretty dull, which makes it fiddle pretty good. But it's a pain when you start cutting down a tree this big. That's about big as a two liter Coke bottle. But it's an old sour wood and it was already dying. 
By the time I got it cut down, I done found a couple of worms. So maybe it'll do pretty good. But, you can see my buggy right there. And you can see that treetop I cut down. You might can see the stub right there. Right there. That's the three spots I've been in. So it ain't like I'm moving way off nowhere. I'm just uh, staying right in the general area. I got more mosquitoes and deer flies than I do worms. But I'm about to get enough worms to fish this evening. You know, I'm just kind of playing now. Dog caught, she's wanting to go swimming. I don't think she likes fiddling worms too much. But anyway, I didn't call her, she just come. Anyway, I'm gonna see if we can get a few more. Then I'm gonna go get some water and cool off and get out of these dead gum mosquitoes. I'm sitting on a five gallon bucket. I can feel it vibrate in the bucket when I do this. And these ants, and spiders, bugs running everywhere. Man, I've only got a couple of worms. So we'll see. That's what we're after. I'm putting them in a five gallon bucket. If y'all can see, he's long as that bucket. Thought we'd do a little better out here. We ain't exactly wearing them out, but catch a lot of brim on one worm as big as that one was. Look at how many he's crawling around under the leaves that I ain't even seen yet. Another bacon. Not fish anyway. All right, I'm gonna hit it one more time where I started. I think by the time I was getting worms coming up, my darn dog got to running around down here and they went back in the ground. I've got plenty to fish with. I just wanna try it right here again. Seemed like the big ones was just starting to come up. We'll see what happens. Sit down, Lucy. Sit down. See it. second time. This is where I started. I 
thought I might come back and get a few more. I hadn't seen a worm. And I know it wasn't Lucy's fault, but she's laying up there now. I might her get up there and lay down. So, we got enough worms to fish with. So, we're fixing to get out of here. Before the mosquitoes carry us plumb off. Got a couple pretty good worms. How many brim you think I can catch off of that? He's longer than a five gallon bucket. And I got some of his buddies in there. I believe we'll be all right. 